Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I just blogged about how to change your command line fonts tonight and uh, the blog post DOS fonts. I'm sure you'll be able to Google for that phrase relatively soon and this post will pop up um, with the full instructions of how to change your command line font. Now I'm not talking about the font that's actually in this little command line window, I'm talking about the full screen font. And uh, to do that, follow, download the fonts from my site, uh, I've collected them for you, and uh, then run through the instructions. Uh, to save a little bit of time, I'll just go right into the full screen, Alt Enter, by the way, if you didn't know that. Oh, look at that, it's like uh, we're back in 1995, or 91, or 85, or whatever. So. <laughs> From here, I've got the list of fonts, and to change the font, um, all you need to do is key in one of the commands. So F40, F39, each one of these is a separate font, a .com file, before .com meant a website. Let me zoom in. So let's say we want to change the font to whatever F8 was. I'll just key in F8, hit enter, and if you can tell, it's kind of gone to a, a serif font, rather than the plain old sans serif. Uh, let's try another one. F17. Mm, cool. F8, F19. It's kind of an LCD font. F23. I'm just picking them at random here. F43. It looks like a, a normal type of font. F30. F21. And again, like I uh, said in, in the post, you can uh, go through the full range of, uh, of fonts. Uh, I've included about 44 of them, at least 44 that I can find. If you want to reset it to the regular command line uh, font, DOS font, you can just type in F1. I think the only one that might not work is F5. Um, that, that one, it used to change the, uh, instead of being 23 lines in height, the screen would change to 25 lines in height. F4 was something that I created. It's, it's a very Beavis and Butthead-ish type of font, or at least as close as you can get to on the command prompt. And again, this is outside the GUI. Um, you could run these uh, fonts on uh, any command line, as long as it's, again, full screen. You could run them outside of Windows. It's, they're made for DOS. I suppose they'll work in free DOS, or at least they should. F3 was one I used to run all the time. This isn't a camera trick. It actually reversed the characters of the font. And... Uh, <laughs> I used to run this in the uh, labs at uh, the University of Northern Iowa. Before I got up, I'd have these fonts on a floppy disk. I'd execute it, I'd run it into memory, and it'd flip the fonts. It'd reverse them. And the person who sat down at that computer terminal next would think that their computer was screwed up and they'd have to reboot. Yeah, um, it didn't really have much of a life back then either. And in here, you can actually change and edit and create your own font. You can save the font as its own com file, uh, which can be executed anywhere. Uh, but this only uh, this only happens when you're at again a full screen command window. You can't actually change this font inside of uh, inside of Windows itself. Oops. F14, F7, F29, and ooh, Rune. There you go. You can have a. Can you read? Can anybody read Rune? I can't.